In 2 Kings chapter 2, reading 15 and 16, particularly, the whole chapter 2, if you read it, is 9, but 16 and 15 and 16 is where I want to put that. You know, we are talking about the lessons of life. You know, out of all the sons of the prophet, only one did something about the knowledge that they have. And at the end, he got the double portion anointing. And the Bible says in 2 Kings chapter 5, uh, sorry, 2 Kings chapter 2, 15 and 16, he says that these same people that have been the same level with him, that have been watching him, laughing at him and all that, they came to bow to him. They came to submit to him. They call him our father. They call him sir. They call him their Lord. Sir, Ma, I want to appeal to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Any information you have, use it, benefit yourself. Don't just be saying it. Don't just be hearing it. Do what he asks you to do. All the sons of the prophet, all of them had that, that Elijah was going to be taken away. None of them do anything about it. But for this only one man, Elisha, and he became their master. What does that imply? I'll read for you 1 Chronicles 12 32. For Issachar, descendant, and there are, were 200 leaders. 200 leaders who understood the times and knew what Israel should do. Their relatives were under their command. When you do something about the information you have, when you do what you should do, your relatives will be at your command. Elisha, his mates, his colleagues before, they became his servants because he did something about what all of them knew and they did not do something about. In life, always do something about the knowledge given to you. It is called wisdom, application of knowledge for the purpose it is intended. It's called wisdom. May God make you an eye wise in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you.